Bob Saget came on TV and introduced a show called America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> On this show, if you're familiar, uh, people would send in like, their amateur tapes of like bloopers and a home video. Like someone fell down, someone's playing wiffle ball and they got hit in the nuts. But at the end of the show, the funniest video would, it's a very exciting show if you haven't seen it. Because they, they control the video. It's like watching someone else watch YouTube. <laughs> end of the show, the funniest video would win 10 grand. Uh, and then Bob Saget would like, do this is not, this probably won't make this special, but just for you guys. Um, <laughs> for, I was re-watching it to like prep for this. And for some reason, all of Bob Saget's improv, he would like do voices over the clips. It was all just about his grandma. <laughs> to the point where I'm like, like some kid would get like, you know, pulled out of frame. Like this kid got yanked harder than my grandma. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm worried about, and again, in a real way, I'm worried about his grandma. <laughs> so most people heard this concept of America's Funniest Home Videos, and they were like, oh, that's a fun way to pass the time in between fentanyl doses. <laughs> My mom heard this, and she took it as a direct and personal job offer. Okay, Bob Saget, I will make you this funny video that you require. You will give me your 10 grand. Every single weekend, we would rent a camera, two six-hour tapes, and we would shoot fake staged bits in the hopes of scamming the show out of 10 grand. Usually it's like a happy accident, like, whoa, hitting the nuts. But my mom was like, no, we can engineer this. We're gonna do highbrow, non-nut humor. One day, she gets an idea that's gonna win us the 10 grand. The, the, here's the bit. All of us kids are gonna be in the kitchen making cookies, right? And halfway through, two-year-old Moses huh, is going to accidentally drop an egg off of the countertop, whoops, and it's gonna land on my sister's head who is sitting just below. <laughs> Judging by this audience's response, it's a killer bit. <laughs> Anyone that's silent, like, how come I didn't think of that? Egg on the head, egg on the face. Two things are standing my mom's way between her and the 10 grand. The first is that her very young children do not understand this bit at all. <laughs> no concept of like a joke, a prank, or a pretend. A lot of that's to do with number two. She was a very strict religious parent that we were a little afraid of. So when she told my two-year-old brain, hey, you're supposed to accidentally, oxymoron, <laughs> drop an egg, on your sister's head, my brain exploded. I was like, this is some kind of trap? Why is this being filmed? You've been telling me my entire life not to throw eggs around like we got egg money. <laughs> so, what we're about to watch right now is the many outtakes. <laughs> that it took to get this very dumb video. And, uh, Oh, before we start it, just a heads up, the video has all the charm and production value of like a hostage video. <laughs> so, I am here in the overalls as she explains this bit to me. In a minute, can you do that? Can you do that? No. Oh, she wants you to. It's funny. No. Go ahead. Just sit. Okay, oh. yes. We gotta be phony. Just, you know. We're gonna take this part and put it on a little tape. But they're gonna be wondering at videos, why were they doing that? We don't want to look like we're making it phony. We want to be up to as an actress we're saying, Hi, Grandma, Grandpa, making you tape. Hi. Hi. Hi, Grandma. We're gonna make you a video. And so yeah. we're, just, we're starting off this morning yeah. by um, yeah. making you some cookies. You gotta give her what yeah. they can see. Yeah. We play outside. We have a swing set out there, too. Okay, okay, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Moses, call it when I say. Okay. Put on face head. Okay. Don't say anything to me. Don't look at me. Just pick up the egg and drop it. Hi, Grandma, Grandpa. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hi. We're making you a tape today. Do 
do it. At this point, my mom had come to her senses, like all of us in this room, and realized what the problem was. The egg is too small. <laughs> Let's up the visual stakes with a large bag of flour. So now, all I have to do is just knock over a bag of flour. Okay, and we're gonna, we're gonna send it to you in the mail. Honey, honey, honey. Okay, good, good, good. Honey, yeah. don't be asking. He'll, he'll be on it, but... Oh. Ow! Stop, stop. It'd be even funnier if we could get more on your face. is, did we ever win the 10 grand? No. But we did get featured in the cold open of season three at the very beginning. And for that, you receive a $200 appearance fee. So if you add up all the camera rentals time spent, we made a net profit of negative $652. <laughs> and this is how the clip actually aired on the show with Bob Saget's narration over it. These kids cook just like my grandmother used to. A pinch of this, a bag of that. Okay. Now, I only showed you that again because that was a shit ton of takes to get a very dumb bit, right? It gets way worse. I don't think you understand how much she believed in this idea. How the clip aired on the show, she's wearing what color pants? She's wearing blue pants on the show. But in every take I had shown you before then, will you press play? Every take I showed you before then, she's wearing white pants, meaning there's an entirely different reshoot day. I don't even have time to show you tonight. <laughs> That's how deep this goes. It's very tacky to say how much you're being paid for your HBO Max special. What I will say is that as of tonight, it took about, oh well, it's over 20 years, but eventually, from this bit, my mom made the 10 grand. 